Hey guys, back with another Transformers review. Now, I could be reviewing Transformers Prime Starscream, which is my most uh, one of my most recent purchases, but I gotta tell you, I'm really not all that eh about him. Really, I'm not, I'm not into it like I like I like I think I should be, because he's really one of my favorite characters from the show, and I I think he's a cool design and everything. I mean, look at it, it looks neat, but I'm just I don't have a lot to say. I just I don't think he's all that awesome. So I'm going to do a review about something nobody cares about. This, dudes and dudettes, is Transformers Energon Cruel Lock. I guess this pretty much marks my first ever Energon review, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is uh, a kind of a scout class, I guess, by today's standards, and he came out in the Energon line, and he's a Terracon. What is a Terracon, you say? It's kind of like a sub-faction of the Decepticons, and as you can see, he is in fact a beast, so he's not a vehicle. Um, not exactly Beast as in the organic, the organic versions of Beast Wars, but still, you know, same thing pretty much. And being a Beast Wars fan, I just had to pick this guy up, and he is very cool. I'm trying to try, I'm starting off with all mode as you can see, just because, um, I think this is probably his strongest point. And as you can see, it's some sort of Deinonychus Dromaeosaurid dinosaur thing. But actually, um, as TF Wiki point, points out, it kind of looks like uh, the uh, little maybe baby offspring of Godzilla in the American movie from 1998. Um, I think it kind of looks like that too, which is kind of interesting since, well, this didn't come out at the same time, but not that much further after. But anyways, yeah, it's really cool. So as you can see, he's got all this Energon stuff all over him. He's got Energon claws, these, Energon giant blade in his tail, and of course the spark chamber cover whatever um, and that was pretty much the uh, the watermark of uh, the entire Energon series is that it had these cool translucent plastic deals and I know it's pretty much a gimmick and it's kinda stupid but I think it's kinda cool I, I like translucent stuff and I think it looks pretty neat so this mode pretty much is what does it for me when I when it comes to this guy I mean I just love it it looks so cool and as you can see you got a little bit of jaw articulation there you can actually open and close his mouth as as can be demonstrated here just like that. Um, but there is a few things I have against it. Just for one thing, it's kind of awkward to pose because his arms don't really move that ver that well. So he kind of just looks like this. And if you try to pose his legs in a different way, he kind of starts looking like he's squatting and he's constipated and he's trying to go to the bathroom, but he just can't because he ate beans that day or something. Anyways, um, with that image in your mind, <laughs> this uh, isn't actually such a bad little alt mode. Um, <clears throat> I especially uh, like the spikes on the back and all the way down to the tail. Gives him a real prehistoric look. So as far as character is concerned with this guy, he doesn't really have a character. In fact, this is more of a drone sort of character. They're sort of used to harvest energon out of the mines or something like that. And so this guy is pretty much just one of a bunch of faceless drones, sort of like Viacons from Transformers Prime. So, yeah, I know I love characters on Transformers, and it's really sad for me to have a guy, really cool looking guy like this, not actually have much of a character, but it's something I'm willing to let go because I just like it a lot. Now, along with this weapon storage that is awesome, that goes right inside his tail, that's his, gonna be a sword later, he also comes with this really cool looking uh, translucent gun. But it really doesn't have anywhere to go except unless you want to have a dinosaur holding a gun, which. That looks stupid. So, uh, overall, really cool all mode. Now for the transformation. So here's robot mode, and uh, as you can see, he's got a bit of a kibble problem. For one thing, the dinosaur head is just literally just stuck back there, and well, that's really retarded looking. But if we look at it from the front, it maybe looks like a helmet or something. I don't know. And the tail stays pretty much where it is. It just splits down the middle and just kind of goes on the side. Yeah. The gun looks really cool in this mode. It, it actually looks like a neat sort of, you know, blaster weapon, which is pretty cool. Then, of course, you have the big freaking sword, which is <laughs> pretty darn amazing. I mean, it's kind of like, kind of bit much, just just a bit, because it seems to be almost as tall as he is. But uh, other than that, it, you know, it looks all right. Once again, I'm drawn immediately to the head sculpt, which looks really cool. It's got kind of a crest on there, sort of like prowl, and then sort of a vent mouth, which is very drone-esque, so I think it works. Overall, it looks pretty neat, and I like to highlight the uh, little special paint apps they put on there on his shoulder pads. You know, just a little bit of turquoise on there to sort of match everything else. I, lo I like that kind of extra little detail in there. Um, overall, you can see the claws are pretty much the same as the dino claws, just with his little cubicle hands in there. 
But overall, it looks like a really nice little robot. Stands up great thanks to the dinosaur feet, and uh, although I'm not really a fan of just the stand-up transformation sort of thing, I think it works for this guy. I mean, he is just a drone anyway, so he's not supposed to be too special, I guess. But uh, overall, really nice little guy. Now this guy did get a repaint as Doomlock, which apparently was some sort of commander of the little drones, so I guess he's sort of semi-sentient, I don't know. But uh, I want to get him too sometime, uh, don't have a, you know, don't have him here with me to show you what he looks like. But uh, he, that is the other one, and uh, I think that was it. Um, now as you can tell, obviously, this guy gets his name from Grimlock, and I think that's cool that they kind of have a little bit of intertwining there, you know, with the, with the characters. And I'm a big Grimlock fan, I'm a big Dinobot fan, so this guy is just perfect for me. Now, if he, is he perfect for you? Maybe not, um, especially if a lot of people aren't really fond of the Unicron Trilogy series like Energon, so, you know, if you don't already like it, this guy's not going to win you over, that's for sure. But, uh, I think he's cool, and since I like the Unicron Trilogy, I kind of like him anyways. But, uh, should you go out and get him? I think you should. If you're a big Dinobot fan or anything like that, then I think you should. Just because he's cool. And that's about all I have to say about Cruel Lock. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Don't worry, your time will come. Maybe.